What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. I was supposed to be out shopping for my wife and kids, and well, I couldn't pass up a bunch of really cool Hot Wheels and Matchbox. I also bought some super treasure hunts. This is what I got, and this is how much I spent. So the first thing we picked up was this five car Hot Wheels premium set, which has some really interesting artwork on the cards for this one. So the first one we have is the Fisher Price edition of the Volkswagen T1 panel bus. And this one is the little people edition. So quite interesting of a car with the artwork on there. And then we've got the Hot Wheels by Mattel looks like a classic version and it is the 1985 Chevy Astro van. So very, very cool. I love the look of that one. That's like a drag van. So very, very interesting. Then we have the Rock'em Sock'em Robots Quick Delivery right there. So you can see that delivery. So it's different from the other delivery wagon van that they have, but uh, interesting looking casting. This one is uh, my, my daughter's favorite. Of course, you can see why. The Barbie edition of the cool combi. So it's a nice white and teal of the cool combi. So very, very cool. I like the cool combi, it's a neat one. Then we have the Masters of the Universe Ford Transit Super Van right there. So all of these ones cost me $7 each. At five of them, that's $35. And next up, I got a bunch of singles and they were all $1 each. So we've got the Corvette from 2020, the Hot Wheels edition Corvette. So that one I do have already, but I wanted to get another one of those. So that one's quite cool. Then we got a bunch of Matchbox cars. We've got the Tesla Roadster, the 2020 Tesla Roadster. Love that one. Another Tesla, the Tesla Model X in nice blue color right there. And then we got the Ford Lightning right here, the brand new Ford Lightning F-150 truck right there. And you can see the front end, it's like a little bit different, but pretty cool, I like it. I like the F-150 Lightning, it's a pretty neat truck. We got the Mazda 3, a little hatchback edition of the Mazda 3. I used to have a Mazda 3 in real life, so that's why I got this one. So a little bit of sentimental value on that one right there. And then this one's really cool, we got the Brand new 2021 Koenigsegg Jamera right there. They actually make this in the Hot Wheels variation. Now we've got the Matchbox edition of it. So pretty neat. We'll have to do a comparison video of these ones in a future video. We got a 2020 Corvette. I believe, yeah, 2020 Corvette right there. We got the white one. So here we go. Here's, here's your quick comparison between the Hot Wheels edition and the Matchbox edition of the 2020 Corvette. So there's your comparison. You can see a little bit, it looks like the Matchbox one's like slightly bigger proportionate wise. I think the Hot Wheels one does look better though. There you go. So there's those ones right there. Then we got the uh, Mustang Mach-E, 2021 Mustang Mach-E. Very cool, I like that. And we got the Audi e-tron right here check out the artwork on that that looks really neat there we go there's the audi e-tron there we are and we got the tesla model y from matchbox as well so that was a total of 10 single cars nine matchbox and one hot wheel for 10 bucks and at walmart i found this really cool eight corvette set so we got eight really neat corvettes let's have a look at them first we've got the corvette c8r Nice new recolor. I mean, these are all existing castings that they've just recolored into this set. If you look on the back, you can see all of the eight cars that are included, but I'm gonna show you them regardless. But that C-A-R looks really neat. We've got this one right here, the 69 Corvette in black right there. This one, pretty classic casting. The C3, this one is the 55 Corvette in yellow. You can see all of these have really cool artwork on them as well. This one is the 97 Corvette. This would be, I guess this would be the C5 Corvette. So there we are. And it looks like we have 70th on there on all of them. So I think it's the 70th anniversary Corvette set. I'm not 100% sure, but that's my guest right there. Uh, Corvette Stingray. This is, uh, looks, I think this is a concept Stingray car back from maybe the 60s or so right there. There we go. And then we've got this one, the 64 Corvette Stingray. Not the 63 split window, just the regular 64 right there. Nice teal color on that one. And then we've got the 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible. Absolutely love the ZR1 convertible right there. Look at that in yellow, looks fantastic. Very, very cool casting. And then we got the, the last but not least, the C6 Corvette in black. 
with the gray wheels. This set was $2 per car, so it's a total of $16. And another Hot Wheels set that I got was this Hot Wheels World set right here. We got five cars included, and we've got the McLaren Senna right here. And you can see it tells you McLaren Senna right there, where it's from. This one says Brazil, I guess, because it's after Art and Senna, which is what the McLaren Senna has been named after, but really cool color to this one. I think that looks really nice in that like tealish color right there. And then we've got the Audi R8 Spider, the 2019 Audi R8 Spider right there. You can see that one, very nice, and that's silver. And then we got the Lamborghini Huracan LP 610-4. That one's in yellow, it's got a black stripe, off-center black stripe right down there as well. And we've got the Aston Martin 177. That one in a nice glossy black. It's got the stripe down the middle right there as well. And last but not least, we got the Ford GT. This is the uh, Ford GT LM edition. Doesn't say LM, even though it just it is the Ford GT LM because it's got that spoiler on there, the diffuser on there. Nice red color, looks really, really good. This set I bought actually at a toy fair. Um, it was like a Hot Wheels little show toy fair. And this set cost me a grand total of only $20. Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt that I bought at that same toy fair right there. This is the Volkswagen Kiefer Racer. You can see that Super Treasure Hunt edition of this one right here, nicely in a Protecto pack, and this one cost me $40. And another one I bought from that toy fair as well is the Corvette C8 Super Chase Matchbox car. This is the number one Super Chase Matchbox car. And this one was only 20 bucks at that toy fair. So pretty good deal on it. And I'm pretty excited to start collecting some of these Super Chase Matchbox cars. What do you guys think of this one? It's got the real riders on there, just like the Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunts. Very, very cool looking. We got four more premium cars that I also bought at this toy fair. We got the Koenigsegg. Agera R right here, the Gumball 3000 edition. I actually do have this one opened up somewhere. Actually, maybe it's it's kind of like right here. You can see it right there. There we go, we have it opened up. But uh, I wanted to get one brand new in pack, so I paid $15 for this one. The next we did get the Nissan Skyline HT2000 GTR. I just love the card on this one. I think it looks so cool. Very, very nice artwork design. This is another one I believe that I also do have opened up, but I wanted to get one brand new in package. I also paid $15 for that one. And then we did get the Volkswagen T1 panel bus snow white edition. Very, very collectible car right here. I paid $20 for this one. I think it just looks like, just like I love the artwork on there. Looks very, very neat. So I had to get that one. And then we got the Rick and Morty Volkswagen drag bus right here. I'm starting to really like these Volkswagen drag buses. I'm starting to just collect a few more of them just because they're so cool. And this is like, this casting weighs so much. It's so heavy, but I think it's really cool. So this one I did pay $20 for as well. And I also picked up this Cars Edition Lightning McQueen. This is like the holiday edition of it right here. So very, very cool. And this one was actually given to me or actually to my daughter who was with me at the time because the person that I bought some of the other cars from, he recognized me from Peak Time Racing. So he was uh, really appreciative of my videos. And so he gave this to me and my daughter. So this one was free. Thank you very much, Chris. And another super treasure hunt that we got, we got the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Super Treasure Hunt. This one in a Protecto, and this one I bought on eBay. And with shipping, this one cost me $65. So yes, very expensive, but I absolutely love the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. Very, very cool. This is gonna go into my Super Treasure Hunt collection. And I picked up a couple of Matchbox 5 packs at Walmart when I was there as well. We got the MBX Japan Tours right here. So we got some pretty cool cars included in that one right there. And then we did get the MBX Fire Rescue as well. So just a bunch of cool fire trucks. And I thought these were two pretty neat sets and they were on sale. They were only $4.99 each, so 10 bucks. Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6, check this out. I don't normally collect 
I believe this is a 1 in 24 skill casting from Jada Toys. Definitely not a brand that I collect or a size that I usually collect, but I could not pass up this 6x6. This is my favorite Mercedes-Benz casting or car of all time, I must say. And it does come with like these extra spare tire and wheels and a little screwdriver and rod, so I guess you can change them up and you can switch them up to different wheels and tires, but wow, I think this is so cool. You can see it's got a little stacker thing right here for it, but I'm gonna open this one up and display it because I love the six by six and this one cost me $20. And last but not least, we got this Hot Wheels 10 pack. And if you have a look at it, do you notice anything unique and interesting? Kind of an error for this pack. Have a close look. I'm sure you've seen it by now. We have two Bugatti EB110 Super Sports in this Hot Wheels 10 pack, but this is the double car air. So, I mean, kind of like our double Super Judgment, we got the double main lines in a 10 pack. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I think I'll probably just keep this one closed and collect it. This one cost me $12. I spent a grand total of $318. Let me know in the comments section which car I got the best deal on.